Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is, I don't know, it's going on 11.30 on Tuesday night. Clearly, I'm in a hotel room. Boo. I have had a very long, like, ugh, kind of a day. First day back into the groove. Uh, I could see when I left Virginia Beach, granted it was sunny in Virginia Beach, but as I got closer to the tunnel, and I could see that when I got through the tunnel, it was going to be pure shit. It indeed was pure shit when I got through the tunnel. It ended up going into a white out squall of rain. And that went for a little bit, then it stopped and the sun came out, and then it went back to the rain, and then the sun and the rain, and it did that for a while until eventually it just went away. That did nothing for the humidity other than make it even worse. So weather-wise, not the greatest day. Driving, it's, it's always shit, but I mean, this was the first day back for a lot of people, so there was a lot of traffic, and that's the way it goes. The meetings all went fine. I had several meetings today, and uh, one of my dealers actually called me to let me know that he forgot that he scheduled a doctor's appointment and he wasn't going to make it, so we did our meeting on the phone, and, and all is well. I was given the opportunity then to have more than enough time to have lunch after that, so I went and had lunch before my final meeting and then i came to the hotel and i promptly fell asleep on the damn bed i slept for uh, somewhere around two hours don't know but not happy about it because you know how i hate napping because i woke up was like oh crap i have a pounding headache now from from the nap because that's what happens to me i don't benefit from naps it just makes me feel worse so i have had a headache all night and I forced myself to just get up. I went and had a good dinner and, and then just came back because it was so late that there, were, there was really not gonna be anything open that I wasn't gonna be rushing around, you know, just trying to run through a store. A lot of times when I'm on this route, I'll go to the Barnes and Noble, you know, and I'll look around at books and magazines and, and whatever, just to kill some time and do something different. Now, this time I have the 11, I have the Sony 11 millimeter f1.8 lens and i wanted to do that specifically so that i could test it like right now in the hotel room and when i'm in the forerunner so i did film a little bit while i was driving around coming back from dinner because it was so dark out and once i got the camera set correctly uh it turns out that i had it maxed on the iso at 6400 and i couldn't understand why i couldn't see shit. you know when i was driving and then i realized oh okay it 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 got maxed at 6400 so i put it up to its max of like 256 uh and that made it a lot better then what happened was that i accidentally hit the button that i programmed for ael the auto exposure lock so it was locked on 25600 and everything was completely blown out when i got to an intersection and there was a ton of light there so nothing but but messing around the worst is on my microphone for my DJI transmitter, when I was leaving the restaurant, when I put my little man purse on, it popped this off and I lost the little magnet. I didn't see it anywhere on the floor, on the table, anywhere around. And I was standing next to this Chinese family and they were all just kind of like looking at me all weird because I was standing there like almost like playing with myself, trying to figure out like if it went inside my shirt and everything, because it was inside the shirt, but it's gone. So right now, that's why I have this clipped up so high, and it is literally clipping audio. So I'll have fixed that in post by the time you watch this. I wasn't going to shoot, or I wasn't going to edit and post anything, but then as I laid here, I started to feel weird that I didn't post a video. So I'm, I'm not going to blather on too much. I just wanted to sort of touch bases. I wanted to test this camera lens combination in a hotel room. And right now I shut the TV off because it was getting glare and it was, you know, bouncing off the, the headboard here. But I have that light, that light over there on, that light over there on, and that's it. And the way that I have this set up with the fake ass Cinetone and, and everything and the lens, which I have on F4 right now, and it's at ISO 5000. On the little screen, now this always gets me, because every time I look on the screen, it looks good. And then I get it into the computer and it looks like crap. But that's all you're getting, because that's all I'm gonna do. 
I also had problems because I forgot that I put the ND filter back on and I was like, why the hell isn't it focusing on my eye? And I keep looking over here because I just want to make sure everything is right. But oh, I don't want to say it was a horrible day. It had its challenges, but all in all, I can't complain too much. I at least got to eat lunch, which I don't normally do when I'm on the road. I had a really good dinner, which I usually do. So I am probably going to be wide ass awake most of the night because I slept for those two hours earlier. And, you know, there's only so much you can do. So I've been laying here watching YouTube videos. And then I was like, get your ass up and film a quick video. So there are no edits in this video. You listen to me, have my pauses, my mistakes, whatever. Hopefully there weren't too many, but that's it. That's all you're getting for today. So with that being said, See, I can't even talk. It's just been, it's been a day. Everything I filmed all throughout the day sounded stupid because I just couldn't finish a sentence. And that's been happening a lot lately. I don't know why. Um, I must need more caffeine. Okay, that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.